at me. Um, here's your armor and your jacket. Back. Bear's outfit. And I'll have you stow it. I feel like we're walking around inside a tin can in here. I know, right? Uh, don't use this. Fine. I won't touch it. I promise. This and this. That's about it. Let's go. No, I'm good. Thanks. Awesome. All right, let's go. Out of here. Okay, Roel wants to talk to people to make himself. He just walked off there, doofus. So he wants to talk to. So older people that are still uh, used to their community. Let's go talk to. Oh, I know. What's it? Forlorn Hope? Yeah, that's where the snipers are. Recon. Oh, what are they called? Um, recon? No, not Recon. Yeah, first Recon. Is right? No, whatever. I didn't say. Go to. Uh, Forlorn Hope. Which is. Here. Here. Pretty sure they're here anyways. Alright, game crashed, so let's try that again. We're on hope. Away. Yay. I don't remember where they are. Hey! We won't go quiet. Corporal Sterling. Legion can count on Bro, that. come over here. Bro, come over here. Bro, come over here. All right, you're in your shot now. Took some skills to bring down that fiend. You done good. Thanks. You always been with first recon? Used to be a ranger. One of the first they sent out east back before we took the dam. Observation and reconnaissance. We took the lay of the land, checked out the locals, and kept ourselves inconspicuous. A couple friends of mine were the first to scout the dam. That was back in 73, if I recall. A lot of those rangers are dead now. Vegas always chewed men up. It's just a little more literal nowadays. Why'd you leave the rangers? Well, that wasn't really a matter of choice. Got myself caught by legionaries up near Malpay. They had themselves some fun with me. Mangled my hands and feet pretty good. Wasn't much good with the pistol after that. Wasn't going to be trekking across the waste on any more long scouts, either. How'd you manage to escape Malpais? Caesar's boys figured I wasn't going anywhere after what they'd done to me. So they didn't bother tying me up. I crawled out of there on my elbows and knees. Must have looked a sight. Then I rolled down an embankment into the Colorado. I guess I had a mind to drown rather than give Caesar's boys the satisfaction of killing me. But a couple of rangers happened to be watching from across the river. They jumped on in and pulled me out of there. Lucky break, they said. Cool. Bye. Always a pleasure. Keep yourself safe. Well, Raul. You really enjoy dragging me into situations where I get shot at, don't you, boss? I haven't been shot at yet. Nothing else. Sure, boss. Got a second to talk, boss? Yeah. What's on your mind? Meeting Corporal Sterling. Well, it kind of got me thinking. Yeah. Here's a guy that's been beat all to hell, right? I mean, he could have retired from the service, but instead he signs back on and does what he can. You think he did the right thing? I think it's good that he's so devoted to his duty. More people should act that way. The NCR put a lot of time and money into his training. He owes it to them. It might seem harsh, but a soldier can't do his job properly without some limitations. Those injuries, he's nothing but a drain of resources. He should retire. I think it's good that he's so devoted to his duty. 
You think so, boss? Because I remember a time when a lot of people stuck to their duty no matter what. It ended with nuclear bombs falling on my hometown. You're talking about the Great War. What do you remember about it? I grew up in a place called Hidalgo Ranch, just outside Mexico City. It wasn't much, just a bit of a farm, with a house for three generations of Tejadas. I wasn't the best behaved kid. I was quick with my hands, with a pistol or a wrench. And I wasn't afraid to get into fights over it. I never killed anybody, but I had my share of run-ins with the police. Mostly my family kept me in line. This was before the war. We were far enough away from Mexico City when the bombs fell that we missed the worst of it. But things got bad quick. Come on. Just a few days after Mexico City was vaporized, refugees started pouring down the road to our ranch. We helped who we could, but there were so many. Eventually, my father started turning people away before we ran out of food. Things got violent. My father and I got our guns, and we drove them off. What happened then? About two dozen men came back in the night after we'd gone to sleep. They set fire to the ranch house and barred the doors from the outside. My whole family was trapped inside. I smelt the smoke. And I got myself and my little sister, Rafaela, out through a window. But everyone else, my parents, my grandmother, my two brothers, and two of my sisters, all died. What happened next? Rafael and I ran. We were pursued by some of the men who attacked our home. But I was always a good shot. The ones who came after us, I killed. The rest, I left be. I had to take care of Rafaela, not throw my life away on revenge. You can't think it was your fault, no one sending a dozen armed men all alone. It was stupid enough not to be... S to set a watch deserves what they got. Blame yourself for this? Maybe. I don't know. All I know is that for all my skills with a pistol, I couldn't help them. Anyway, that was weighing on my mind. Thanks for letting me get it out in the open, boss. No problemo. Let's go. Alright, what did I do? Use button chip. Talk to the receptionist and more, more about the overtake. Yes. Should we just about the NCR? Really? Alright. Talk to Regis real quick, I guess. Hey, Regis! Something else you wanted? Yeah, uh, what's your opinion on CR? That's a complicated question. They've done horrible things to our people, to be sure. And I've gladly killed many of their soldiers in battle. But I can't bring myself to hate them the way Papa does. Things would damn sure be better for us if they were in charge than Caesar. So this? I suppose if asked, I would. But that's a moot point, because Papa's in charge now. And he's not going anywhere. Bye. Until next time. Apparently, yes. Alright, let's do this. Then we'll go to the fort. Actually. Alright, you can't. Let's just go to the fort. Talk to the yes man when we get back to the fort, anyways. Vilified! Oh god, what the hell? I thought I killed everyone here. Oh, you have a Whoa, 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 whoa! What are you doing? Shoot through me. Alright, 
So, I know where we're going. To it. It's up near the back. It's like a little shack to the back where those guys with ballistic fists go punching my face off. Caesar. Uh huh. Okay then. Huh. Well, if this camp is any indication, Kaiser's the monster I've always heard he is. Look at this place. Yeah. Good thing he's dead. Secure shard vault, we go. Find the There's house. I see you reached your destination safely. Shall we get to work? Yes. What is this place? It's a facility I built many years before you were born. You might think of it as a barracks. You'll understand soon enough. Uh, why'd you send me here? As you know, the platinum chip upgrades my Securitron's operating software. Well, there's an army of them here. The Securitrons policing this strip are a fraction of the total number manufactured. The rest I stored here. I need you to manually upload the data from the chip to the facility's primary computer. There's a terminal at the other end of this facility. There's a complication. While I can broadcast to this screen, I can't control any of the facility's systems. Gotcha. That means I can't deactivate its security bots most of which appear to be active according to the status board I'm looking at. I'll have to do the day as you ask. Uh, what you... What? Uh, what was that you said about the security systems? The same equipment failure that prevents me from remotely operating this facility seems to have activated its security robots and turrets. There's a security room near the base of the stairs. Perhaps you can deactivate them yourself. You do with your scare trons. My army will do what an army does best defend territory from invaders and maintain order. I'll upload the days you ask. Good. I won't hold you up any longer. Oh. Turret status active. Status active. Status standby. Status log. Information link detected, maintenance bot dispatched, power switch detected, maintenance bot non responsive, security alert level 1. This is a lawful use of deadly force. Please direct complaints to your local law enforcement authorities. Oh. Ah, 
possible. This is lugging. Cancel security alert. Turrets are ready to stand by. Hard. Quantities. Endorphins. Modulator. Uh, let's see, this search bar should be required to override the security controls to get from the unmade security system and opening the door. Do it! Hey, boys! Do not interfere with security operations. Gotcha. All the two trunks are out to play. Look at all these robots. Hey boys. Mr. Turret. Mrs. Turret. Downstairs. Excuse me. Move along, please. Coming true. Yeah, hello, turret. Move along, please. Hello, more turrets. You're on standby mode, ready to go. Oh, I'm ready for broken. Permanently chained. Aww. Insert the upgrade. Oh, 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 oh. We have an army! Your work here is done. Return to the Lucky 38 so we can discuss next steps. You have a very bright future ahead of you. Thanks to your actions today, so does the rest of mankind. Excellent. There, real quick, to help raise rogue spirits. Trandy. Hey, Trandy. welcome. Trandy. What's new? Uh, did you do something to your leg? Yeah, twice. Actually, the first time, it was more like half my body. Knocked me out of the Rangers. This time, it's mostly just reminded me how useless I've gotten. What happened? A few years back, we get a tip that some Legion slavers were holed up in this burnout house a few clicks from where we were stationed. We get there and it's deserted. No sign anyone's been there. I mean, nothing. 
As we're leaving, I hear something behind me. I turn around and there's this kid, just skin and bone, and he's looking up at us and he's scared half to death. Been hiding in a closet. 